In today's video, we're going to have a quick look into a powerful feature of the ServiceStack.NET X tool, which is JSON patching. This feature can significantly simplify your automation of JSON file modifications, which can be especially useful for automating tasks in your CI environment. JSON patch, which is a format defined in RFC 6902, allows us to express a series of operations on a JSON document. Using JSON patch, we can add, remove, replace, move, and test elements within a JSON structure. These operations provide granular control over the modifications we want to make to our JSON files. And now with the Service Stack X tool, you have an easy way to apply these JSON patch operations to a JSON file by using the command xpatch. A common use case for JSON patch for .NET developers would be automating the modification of your project's appsettings.json file. We can store our application settings here, but for sensitive information, we don't want to keep those details in source control. And this is where JSON patch can be useful, especially in CI environments. Here we have an app settings.json file with an empty SMTP object. We're leaving it empty because we don't want our SMTP username and password stored in our source control. During development and running locally, we might not need these specific SMTP settings, but when we deploy our application, they will need to be populated. And this is where the JSON patch format can come in handy to automate the changes that we need to make before our application is deployed. Here we have an example of a patch file, and you can see we are using the add operation to insert our SMTP settings into the SMTP object. Now let's apply this patch and we'll use the xpatch command from the x tool by running the command xpatch appsettings.json.patch. The tool can take either a single argument where a JSON file without the .patch file exists and we will receive the applied operations. Alternatively, you can provide both the patch file and the target JSON file path if their naming doesn't match. Here we can see the result of our appsettings.json file with the updated SMTP settings from our JSON patch. Looking at our JSON patch file, we can see that it's an array with an object that represents each operation. Each operation object is made up of three properties, the op property, the path property, and the value property. The op property specifies a string of which type of operation we're going to perform. So that's an add, remove, replace, move, or test. The value property can contain any valid JSON value. So a number, string, object, or array. The path property is a bit different from the other two. The path variable determines the location within the JSON document where the operation will be performed. It's specified as a string value, but it's actually used as a JSON pointer syntax. For example, if we have this document here with a customer and their name and age, if we want to select the customer's name, we would do forward slash customer forward slash name. Each string that's prefixed with a forward slash represents a reference to a key in an JSON object. For JSON arrays, the index is used to reference elements within that array. Array indices are zero based, so if you have a JSON array of orders and you want to select the second order, you would specify the path forward slash orders forward slash one. Here, the one is the index of the second order in the array. To insert a value at the end of an array, the dash or hyphen character can be used to specify the index, as in forward slash orders forward slash hyphen. This syntax is useful for operations that need to add elements to an existing array in a JSON document. Understanding how to use the path variable effectively is crucial when creating your JSON patch files. With it, you can directly and precisely target the elements in your JSON structure that you need to manipulate. And then you can automate the application of those JSON patch files using the servicestat.net x tool.
The .NET X tool has loads of functionality and the X patch command provides a powerful way to manipulate your JSON data using JSON patch files. It's a handy addition to your .NET developer toolkit, especially when managing complex configurations or securing sensitive data in your CI environment. To install the ServiceStack.NET X tool, you can run the command .NET tool install -gx and get access to all the functionality it has to offer, like project templating, feature mixing, and much more. Check out the ServiceStack documentation if you want to see more information, and as always, thanks for watching.